Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. She is not a saint or a victim. America Garzo declared about Carla Luna, with whom he said to have had lived a stormy marriage. The real-life drama starring Les Lavanderas takes another turn with the version of the comedian's ex-husband, who had a relationship with Carla Panini, Luna's friend and partner. Yes, there were infidelities of mine, but there was also of him, admitted the 31-year-old from Monterey. Garza also accepted to have had a love affair with Panini, which is why Luna broke up personally and professionally with her. But now he wants to give his version of events because he considers Luna's statements to be public attacks against him. If I had not spoken, it was for my daughters. They were things that they did not find out. They're girls. Second, because she, Luna, had cancer and did not want to cause her disgust and make her worse, he said. But right now, she's already affecting my relationship with my daughters. She said that the alleged betrayal with Panini was not such, as Luna assured last December, when she terminated the Las Lavanderas dumbbell. And he assured that in June 2014, he and Panini spoke with Luna to tell her that they had a relationship. She already had a partner, and here I have photos and videos where she already had a relationship with someone, where she was getting married, and I'm going to show them, he said about a video in which Luna appears with an Argentine named Sergio. In November 2013, Luna posted on Twitter that she was divorcing Garza, whom she married for separate property on June 23, 2012, after six years of common-law union. The former couple who fathered two girls, Victoria III and Valentina V, experienced episodes of family violence first revealed by her and now confirmed by Garza. Yes, there was a lot of lawsuits. There were also attacks on my part, she admitted. At first, they were on her part. I never laid my hand on her until after my second daughter was born. There were attacks on both sides. I defend myself. Garza assured that the relationship with Luna was intermittent, that they fought and reconciled, especially because she sentimentally blackmailed him. He returned to her many times because of her blackmailing the girl. She had certain kinds of problems. I was afraid that she would commit suicide because she had very crazy outbursts. Easy, she tried about six or eight times. Twice I grabbed her from the balcony before she threw herself into the lawsuits from us. He said that he did not want to live. Garza assured Luna had other couples already being separated, and she himself told him. Before hanging out with the Argentine, in the same 2014, she went out with other person. One of them was Hugo, and with another person named David, who is an ex-boyfriend from high school. She had the right to go out with whoever she wanted. Already, we weren't together. She also mentioned Luna's other alleged relationships, dating from before they were a couple, and for which she has no proof. I realized that she had a relationship, I don't know what kind, with the leader of a cartel, but she went and visited him, with Arturo Beltran Levia. She accepted that it was before me, that she did it because her brother had cancer. I don't know how he supported her. But one of those times when he got lost and didn't answer me, he accepted that he went to see them at a hotel here in Monterey, or that he went with someone from his people. It was in 2006, and she went to tell him that they had a serious relationship with me. That's what she told me. Also, in a rumor version, he learned that Luna was cheating on him with Cesar, a clown from Los Chiquinares. But Garza confessed that he never felt complete with his ex-wife, and Carla Panini filled that role. It was not the right way to do it. I think we should have told Luna from the beginning, but we didn't do it because of his character. At that moment, he assured they no longer have a romantic relationship, although he still feels something for Panini. Garza declared that she came to love the mother of her two daughters very much, with whom she fell in love for being a funny woman as well as beautiful. Already with his treatment that I lost all day and that he was going to the club. Her deceptions happened before my first daughter was born, he said. She lost respect. She's profiting from this with a situation that affects our daughters. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.